DNA starts to degrade as soon as you collect plant material, so it's really important you dry it as quickly as possible. That's why it's important to take a container with silica gel into the field with you. That means that you can collect a plant, put it in your tea bag, and put it into the silica gel as soon as you can. In most cases, the plant material we collect are leaves. When choosing a leaf, try and pick one that's young, that looks healthy and doesn't have things growing on it. When you collect a leaf, rip it into small pieces, roughly about one centimetre, but it could be smaller if it's really a thick, waxy leaf because that'll help it dry quicker. If there's a thick midrib, just take it off and discard it. Rip it into small pieces and then put it in your tea bag. It's important to estimate how many collections you're going to make when you're going into the field because that allows you to work out how much silica gel to take into the field with you because it's really important that the plants are covered in silica gel as soon as possible. Keep an eye on the silica gel indicator because when that changes colour, the gel is saturated and it won't be drying the plant. At that point, you have to replace the silica gel. It's important not to overfill your tea bag with leaf material because that means that the leaf material won't be in close contact with the silica gel and it won't dry out very quickly. If you do need lots of leaf material, collect it in several tea bags. You have to make sure that they all have the same number and you make a note of how many duplicate tea bag collections you've made. Once you've collected your leaf material, put your unique identifier number into the tea bag, fold it, and then you can add it to your silica gel. Give it a good shake, and then that means it's started to dry already. Once your tea bag's in the silica gel, it's important that every hour or so, just to gently turn it so it's in contact with the fresh silica gel. When you're working in a humid environment, make sure you always keep the container tightly closed to keep the silica gel and the plant material dry. At the end of a day's field work, you take your tea bag from your field silica gel and put it into a sealable container containing fresh silica gel. That means you can dry this for the next day's use. One of the benefits of the tea bag method is that if the silica gel becomes hydrated, you can just replace it very easily, hassle-free. The plant material should be dry within 24 hours. You can test that, it sounds crispy when you press it. And there is still moisture in it, so it's important that you keep it in the sealable container with silica gel and check the indicator gel regularly. When you're traveling home, if you don't want to travel with lots of silica gel, you can actually take the tea bags, put them into a sealable Ziploc bag uh, and take them back to your home institute. The most important thing is as soon as you get back to your home institute, put them back in a sealable container containing silica gel.